Hello, my name is Corey Russell, and I played in a tournament on January 13th at the Medford Chess Club. And this is the game I'm going to go over is the one I had in the final round with Ed Bedestal. He's an expert. And whoever won this game uh, won the tournament. So, uh, Ed was white, so on to the game. So we open Queen Spawn. This is a London system. I know he's trying to draw me. Uh, and London actually is pretty good with his drawing. But um, I can definitely plan for a win, so I do. This isn't usually what they do in the London, but again, that's from a draw. So if he can do exchange, that's what he wants to do. The uh, director bishop for white can be um, is often a key to how he gets an advantage, so... Poising it is uh, pretty helpful for black. Like guessing as soon as possible before a center operation. Um, this is several reasons. One is last might be five, and the other thing is, uh, if I take on c4, I can do b5, and the bishop b7, which is a nice diagonal for the bishop. He just wants to stop any king b4 ideas, which is fine. I don't care about that. So continue development. Now that he knew bishop, I'm going to take. Uh, pick him. He goes to a good diagonal for him. Nope. Actually, it's not what I played. Actually, I played c5. Okay. That's right. The reason I did this is so if he takes, I can go queen take and get a tempo. Does. And I, I could take the rook queen, but uh, I want to keep queens on because I'm trying to win. Oops. Let's see if I here. So both of us are continuing our development. Oh, you know what? Ha! Huh. Actually defended the bishop, picked him, gets a diagonal, and moves off. Um, so now I have to develop a plan. Of course, he could do rick c1 and discover me, play to rick c8, but rick c1 is not really a good idea because I just take, take the rook and then two rooks for king, which is, um, which is normally is, is fine. So I do. This is b file. I considered knight e5, but I didn't, but I didn't like, I didn't like uh, him taking and then him doing stuff like f3 and e4, and then um, you know, I, I do. Let's say rook here, e4, and then my bishop is just is just eating granite. So I don't like my future there. And again, I'm trying to win. So if we don't have to trade pieces, that that can help me to win. There's a subtle trap here. He can't do rook here because knight here, and then he can't take because then I take his I take his rook to the exchange. And if he doesn't take, then I d um. A double with pawns is also good. So he really has to take the knight if he does. All right, so this should be four. So it's having a tough time to decide what to do here. Um, especially to win. I played this, which. I mean, my idea was to go a4 and then knight c4, but the problem is he can undermine b5. So he actually, he could have won a pawn by doing this aggressive plan. Um, kind of have to take, block. And then here I realize, oh, he's threatening knight take pawn. Queen, he's threatening this. He's threatening knight take pawn, queen take, rook take knight, rook take rook, rook take rook. And he'd have a, up a pawn. Um, so I'm like, well, how do I defend that? In, in direct defense, there wasn't one, but I found an indirect defense. Um, basically, if he takes a pawn, I have a five move trap that gets me a pawn. And he didn't see the five move. So he goes for it. He should really just do a3. If he has a3, then take the pawn, there's not really much he can do about that. Um, so that's what he should have done. He, he goes for the pawn. Uh, of course, um, 
he doesn't do queen take. He doesn't. I can go queen take, rook take, rook e1, knight c6. He doesn't take. Um. And see so that? Oh, he's up a pawn. Well, not quite. I have this move. Uh, yes, he can take my queen, but then he does. I come down here, mate. So he can't touch my queen. Uh, but of course, I'm threatening rook queen or rook down anyways. Which so he really needs to back off. So he does. So okay, I got my pawn. So I'm a pawn up. It, it's not. It's not. This, uh, it's certainly not a guarantee I'm going to win this at all. But um, I I certainly have winning chances. So I'm definitely going to play on here. So my pawn can't move. My queen's in the way. So plus keep an eye on the rook. He wants to prevent any. He wants to prevent any uh, pins in the, in the background. This makes sense. So there's no threat yet. So I'm going to advance my pawn. If I can get to a2, I can severely limit white and tie him down. You see that's him. So he's running rick c8. It's kind of a big issue. So he gets some look. It looks like he gets his pawn back, but I have a trick. Of course, he can't take his rick takes rook pawn because queen takes queen. Uh, so take. I still behind the pawn. I go here, attacking his pawn. He defends. And so I now have a pawn up. But the thing is, the rook can never leave the b file or immediately queen. Uh, and so the key is, and the pawns are even on the king side. The key is my king has to help. The key, my king has to be the deciding factor. So uh, my king has to do a long march to uh, help the rook. So I play e5. This kind of little trap, like for example, if he goes take, take, take. I got check, and then I can, and then when he takes, I can queen. So um, limiting his option, and of course. Same thing if he goes e4, right? Same thing. It's just a little trick. So um, just keep an eye on him. He wants to. He wants his king. He wants to get to e4. I see no reason to allow it. Plus, I need. To, I need to get my king to get in the game anyway. He wants to limit my pawns. I'm fine with that. So I need my king to get in the game. So that's exactly what I do. He wants to limit my king, but it doesn't really actually stop me. It just slows me down a little bit. So now I have to go across. And then when he gets to c7, again, he can't go for my g pawn or queen, so he has to sit in the b file, and then he has to basically give way, and I just advance up the c file and, and then queen, and then my rook sacks for his h pawn, and then uh, there, I'll have at least one pawn left, and I win about 11 of my pawns. That's the general plan. So anyway, queen e7, g3, check. So he probably needs to do queen g2, but you know, that's passive. Um, but the problem with this plan of his is that he loses another pawn. Um, and so now, if I can trade rooks, that, that'd be the dream. So do my plan, get to the c-file. Limits my pawns, I'm fine with that, attack the rook. Goes to b4. Advance to the c-file, continue my plan. Because now he starts the plan. Now my king can't advance. Uh, so now it's up to my rook. So G pawns are unprotected, so let's keep not, let's look, take a look at him. Here I saw an opportunity. Again, if I could trade rooks, I believe it's a winning endgame. So I said, well, okay, what if he doesn't trade rooks? So he could go. I can do this here. Let's see, back saw. So I'm going to queen, he takes, queen, I take, he takes, keep that pawn immediately. Okay, you don't want to lose stalemate, right? So I need to stop him. Pawn, queen, and then I just queen this pawn, and I win the game. So that's what would have happened if he didn't allow the trade. So let's go back here. So that's his actual game check. Let's check here. Okay. So I did do the rook check. So if he doesn't go here, his only option is here. So here. Now, before we into this king pawn in game, I made sure to calculate this. So first thing first, I want to advance the king side, but I want to also at the same time limit him. So go here. So he doesn't get just slowing me down a little bit. That's his king. 
Now here I saw, if I went here, 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 I mean, yeah, I'm up a pawn, but it, it, he has a e-pawn and it's fast. It may even be faster than mine. I said, nah, I don't like that idea. Unfortunately, I don't have to do it. I can go here instead, which, com which is completely different. So now, and so he did g4. It's only other idea is king up, king here, king here, king here. And then take. And it doesn't matter what he does, right? If he goes king take, if he goes here, king take pawn, my king comes over, he takes that pawn, he takes that pawn, and then I queen my e pawn. If he takes this pawn, uh, my h pawn is just too fast, way too fast. Right? I mean, look at I mean, He has four moves, I'm going to queen right now. Okay. So that doesn't work. No. So the only the only th thing else he can do is what he actually did, which is queen. He wants to trade pawns anyways, in general, so. Um, oh, I gotta take check. Okay, here. So I took, so he did this. Um, I mean, my pawn is protected, though, so the main thing is get in front of his pawn, his pawn so he can't go anywhere. And here he realized he's tied down the pawn, and eventually he's running out of moves, and my king will come in and eat his e pawn, or I'll queen his e pawn, right? Um, so there's no way to draw this. And so, uh, black resigned, I mean, white resigned, and so I won the tournament. Uh, going three and zero. Oh. So I hope you enjoyed my game, Dead by the Cell, and uh, see you guys next time.